Hello, Marble Sports fans! I am Johnny Marble, and as always, I am coming to you for MSW. Let's jump right into the news. Race 4 of Marble Rally 2020 was an even more challenging race than the last, with even wetter sand causing more drag. It was a struggle to finish, but in the end, Cobra achieved their first career win in the Marble Rally, followed by Slimer in second and Ghost Plasma taking third home. Unfortunately though for Crazy Cat's Eyes, they bumped into Nemo and got stuck right at the finish line, missing an opportunity to even grab a few points. Moving over to Nasmarb now, we return to the hyperspeedway for the Wolf 500. Only this time, it was much wilder. Seemingly invigorated by their past experiences with this track, the racers drove even more aggressively than before, resulting in several cars either falling or being pushed off of the track. Spitzer was unfortunately unable to make it past the second heat, but they did still manage to take place in the top half. On a more positive note though, Quillo managed to make it to the final heat of the race, along with Streamer and Woodpecker. Woodpecker was out to an early lead, and though the other two racers tried their best, they couldn't stop Woodpecker from taking first place, leaving Streamer to claim second and Quillo to take third. One more thing to mention though, is that Streamer's new car for this race was representing childhood cancer awareness and you can bid on it if you so choose. The link is in the description of Nasmarb Race 5, and all of the proceeds will go to the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. The bidding ends October 10th at 7.47pm, so it's not a lot of time left. If you want to own a piece of Nasmarb history and support a good cause, you know where to go. And finally, we have race number 4 of the Racing Marbles League, the Beaverton Corners Course, and it was very interesting indeed. At one point in the race, Marbulous Aronatus suddenly disappeared without a trace, like a magician or something. Upon reviewing the footage, Marbulous got stuck somewhere in the launch tower after going through the marble booster, and only managed to get unstuck four laps later. Not quite how I expected the first lap marble to happen, but that's marble racing for you. The race continued without any more strange occurrences, and in the end, Crimson Lady took first, with T-Bot getting second, and Panda getting close third. So hey, a lot of stuff has happened in the Marble Sports world, and I've just filled you in. I've been Johnny Marble, you have been the best fans in the world! Let's kick it back and continue on with the podcast.